Okay, guys, check this out. An up and close video of a ball python laying her clutch of eggs. She just finished laying. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually remove them. But while we're removing them, I want you guys to come up with some good questions because I'm gonna be watching the post really close and I wanna, I wanna interact with you guys and get more detailed questions and more detailed answers. And so don't worry, I'll revisit the video for a while and we'll get all the answers we can get. And I want all the questions we can get. So this girl right here, first question I got is how many eggs do you think she has? They are beautiful and uh, she is a normal looking ball python. We bred her to pastel inchy butter clown. So we bred her to a pastel inchy butter clown, which means there's gonna have recessive genes in there. And uh, those recessive genes, we hope that somehow she's het clown. We'll find out. She's supposed to be. And if she is, we're gonna make some incredible animals and you guys will be able to actually see the babies. If you've got your post notifications on, see, I'm really here. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. So we're gonna take this girl off. How many eggs did you guys come up with? I didn't hear a number. I didn't see a number. You guys comment yet below and having some fun? So, okay. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's probably about 11 eggs is my guess. I haven't looked her up yet, lifted her up yet, but I'm gonna lift her up right now. She's really pretty cool. Uh, ball pythons are known for their passive disposition, but when you're taking big eggs from anything, anything's possible. What, what do you guys think? Is there 11 eggs there? So look at this. So this clutch is absolutely beautiful. I don't think there's 11 eggs. It looks like there's maybe nine, but let's see. So we got one egg right there. Now, remember you can't roll python eggs around or any other reptile, but if you're a chicken breeder, Chicken eggs are supposed to be rotated on a regular basis. Any bird ones are. There's number two. So let's see, we're gonna have to take a little bit of bedding out here. So now we're putting them on this perlite. People ask, why do you take the eggs? Why do you take the eggs? It's real simple. Because the eggs will do much better in an incubation situation. So have you guys already figured how many eggs there are? Because I haven't counted, because I've been too busy talking. And I can barely walk and talk, far less count eggs and talk. So those eggs weren't even stuck together. Now the cool part is the eggs are naturally stuck together in order to keep them from rolling around. And the reason why, like I told you, is they actually will die if they roll around. So what happens is the embryo gets started the development. And after the embryo starts development, of course when they're inside the snake and the snakes actually sometimes lays upside down, the eggs can be moved around. But even though these eggs were just laid, these babies inside of these eggs, believe it or not, are already two months old. So these eggs are approximately two months old inside there, and they're only about that long. I'm not gonna open one up and show it to you, but I've looked plenty of times when I've had one go bad in the beginning of incubation. And uh, I'll have to show you guys the inside of a baby egg like a couple days into incubation when it hasn't made it. So I'm gonna take this one egg off the top because I don't want the the humidity to be different on any different on any of the eggs. So this is perlite that we put them on, and the perlite is to actually hold the moisture because inside these eggs is nothing but yolk, and that yolk will actually turn into white, to like an egg white, the time it hatches. People always ask me, why don't you take them out of the egg when you cut them? Well, the reason why I don't take them out of the egg is they're not ready because there's a little bit of yolk left. When they start breathing, they actually inhale that yolk. So what we always like to do after they're done laying is we like to inspect them, check her out, She's looking good, she's got nice health. How many eggs did we get? I didn't even add, count. Two, two, four, six, eight, nine eggs. So I missed it by two. What did you guys get? How close were you? I'm kind of curious. So look at that, check it out. So this girl is completely empty. Everything's absolutely great. And we got a perfect clutch of eggs, you guys. So we're living the dream and it's gonna take 56 days for them to hatch, 54 to 56 days. Sometimes as much as 60, it depends on the temperature. We like to incubate ours at 89 degrees. They do good between 88 and 91, but we don't like to see 91. We don't like to see under 86. Uh, so really 86 to 88 is the window. 86 is not ideal. 89 is just right there in the sweet spot. So anyway, let's see what happens. We'll see soon. We'll find out if she's actually carrying those special genes. And if she is, whoa, you guys are gonna be impressed. So turn on your no post notifications. I'll see you soon. But don't forget, you gotta dump a bunch of questions on here for me so I can understand what am I missing that you haven't learned yet about ball pythons. Take care, guys.